Hi, this is Mrs. Johnson, and I just want to do a really quick tutorial for you on using the program PicMonkey, um, which you can find for free online, um, to turn a picture into a basic line drawing to kind of help you get a basic line drawing on a canvas um, for a portrait. So to start, you want to open um, the program PicMonkey, and it's P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y dot com. So go there first. Upload a picture by clicking Add an Image, and we've already done that here, but we'll just kind of walk through the steps. So we're going to add an image, and then click on whichever picture it is that you've already selected um, to work on today. I will say a picture with a dark, dark background works best for light hair. Uh, white backgrounds work better for dark hair, just because you get that contrast, and it helps um, the program recognize the edges a little bit better. But to start off, we'll just use what we've got here and we'll click on um, Effects. If you look over here on the side, there's a magic wand. We're going to click on Effects. And then we're going to find the one that says Try X. Okay, so if you go down, it should be under Super Black and White. Let's see, we missed it. Uh, let's see here. There it is, Triax, right there. It is under the black and white category. So click on that first. Okay. We're going to set this to 1600. Leave the fade alone and apply that. Next, we're going to go to, we're going to stay here in effects, but we're going to scroll down to the paint box, which is the next one down, and we're going to click on Warhol. It's going to give us some crazy colors there. We're going to set the colors here though <clears throat> as black, and then we're going to set the second color as white. I want to take these guys away. Looks like they have added more colors in to this. Okay. We're going to play with the contrast a little bit just so that we get, you know what, let's do this. I'm going to change that one to white too, see what we get. Okay. Let's try changing this one to black. Nope, too much. That one actually is probably going to be our best bet. Um, so they used to just have two color options here, and now they have four. So I would set it to black, white, black, white just so that it can help find all of those edges that we need to find. And then play around with your contrast so that it starts to pull out the details. Um, we don't want the details to just blend into the background. Now it's going to look a little bit crazy at this point. Um, that's okay. Next we're going to scroll down to Artsy. It's going to be a little bit farther down. Yes, apply. Keep going just a little bit farther. There it is. Here's the artsy category. And within this one, we want to select edge sketch. And we're going to see what's going to happen there is that, let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see the details a bit more. Can you see how it's finding all of the edges of that picture? All of the big stuff, okay? We want to set our edge thickness to 5 so that we can see the lines easily. And we're going to take the fade, we're going to leave it down at 0. And then you can kind of play around with how much detail you want. Obviously, if you pull it up, your percentage is going to make it a little bit darker. If you pull it down, it's going to fade it out and make it a lot lighter. You probably want to be able to see this, especially if you put it on a light box. It's just going to help to pull all of the proportions together. 
so there's not so much guessing, especially if we're doing like um, a posterized image. So that is the process. We would just go ahead and click apply and take our, I was zoomed in really close so you could see all the details there. If you wanna zoom it in just a little bit more, the slider down here will show you. It's gonna be digital, that's okay. For our purposes, we just need to make sure that we have eyes, nose, mouth, all of those figures in the right place. And then we'll just pick and choose a few lines for the hair and the details of the upper torso. We won't record every single detail. This should really help. We'll print these off and use a light box to transfer the image onto your good paper, and then we'll be ready to start painting. Thanks so much.